Stay outside, I'ma open up a window and blow out the single. Get the whole world hot, starting with my city. What's up, YouTube? Chef Hans here, bringing you another adults only CBD and cannabis product review. Let's have some fun, guys. Get right into it. Today, we are talking about black tie CBD. I keep getting requests to do them, so I figured I'd go ahead and purchase some more products from them to give you a good general idea of some of the products that they offer. So disclaimer, I paid for these products, and I'm gonna give you an unbiased review. If this stuff sucks, you're gonna know about it. So let's get right into it. So what I ordered was an eighth of their blueberry pie flour, okay, and it comes in this cool jar, you know, black tie, CBD on top, and it kind of gives you some stats right there, okay? And then I also ordered a gram of their Afghani Black CBD hash. Hash. We'll talk about why the finger quotes here in a minute. But, uh, so in the package came with that. Also comes with your lab sheets. Comes with a law enforcement form. And they gave me a pretty cool slap uh in the package so that was very nice everything was nice and discreet came very quickly uh no smell everything's vacuum sealed it was great great shipping product so let's get right into it so the flour this blueberry pie guys is really really awesome now it smells really sweet and that's the only general consensus i can give to the smell of it but once you break it up, you start to get more of that blueberry-ish type smell. And I, I don't smell it just like this, a flower. It's not until I really start breaking it up that you're going to see uh, that or smell that smell that I'm talking about. It's kind of like a tartness, kind of sweet and tart, kind of like a blueberry. So as you're breaking it up, um, it, it, it's more pronounced. It's not super loud in the jar. I mean, you smell it a little bit, but once you break the buds open... That's really when it gets down to the good stuff. So the blueberry flower, uh, blueberry pie flower, it's very good. Now this stuff was coming in, we got a lab sheet here. This one's coming in 22.64% CBD, guys. And we got 0 0.07 on the Delta 9 THC, so it's under that 0 0.3 federal legal limit, all right? Now let's talk about this. And then we got one gram of their CBD hash. Now, at first, I thought it was a cool product until I figured it out. I still think it's a cool product, uh, but it's not necessarily hash in your traditional sense. Let's talk about the specs real quick, and then we'll open it up, we'll smell it, and then we'll talk about it. So the specs say this is 41.96% uh, total CBD in this gram, okay? And then it's 0.16 on the Delta 9 THC. All right, so let's talk about the smell. It smells very... Uh, Hempy. It smells kind of like uh, green. It kind of smells like the plant matter. But then it's also got this like sweetness to it. Now, I think they do use the keef from the blueberry pie flower. I think they use that to make this. But what this hash actually is, is their keef, and then they mix a little bit of CBD oil in it. Now, traditionally, that is not hash. Hash usually is either uh, bubble hash made with water in a, in a series of micron bags, or you got dry sift where you're actually rubbing the flour on sifted uh, screen, micro screens and then the trichomes fall off. You collect them, you press them together, and you cure them. That's usually what hash is. Hash is not taking the keef and then mixing it with CBD oil. Um, the consistency on this stuff is very wet and tacky. It's very malleable. Uh, and we'll show it to you up close and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's a, it, it's decent. Uh, we'll, we'll bring it down close, let you take a look at the hash. Uh, and then we'll smoke it off screen the, with the flour. We'll come back, we'll tell you about the effects. Uh, so let's go down low, check this stuff out. Let's go check it out now. All right, guys, so here's the uh, blueberry pie flour from Black Tie CBD. This one's coming in at 22.64 CBD. Uh, low key on the Delta 9 THC. As you can see, the, the flower, guys, is just crazy. Crazy frosty. Smells really good. We'll crack it open so you can see it here. Super frosty. Let's bring you in on it a little bit here. Look at that. Look how frosty this flower is. 
very nice and frosty, very loud. Uh, all the buds look amazing. Look at this guy. Look at that one. Nice and frosty. Smells amazing. We'll crack this one open too, just so you can see it. Stacked trichomes on the inside. Again, I'm I'm not really getting blueberry pie though, but I am getting like a kind of a sweetness. I I can get maybe a kind of blueberry ish. Now that I've cracked the bud open, it's way more loud once you crack the bud open. But God, that's some good looking flower. Moisture content's very nice. Uh, so we'll smoke it off screen. We'll come back. We'll tell you about the effects. But there's some good looking stuff right here, guys. All right, guys. So here's that uh, CBD hash from Black Tie CBD. And I just want to take a minute and like show you the consistency of it. Uh, it's very kind of moist very moist uh, as you can see there's a lot of moisture happening in there when you crack it open i mean it's just it's just moist that's it clumps together very well it packs together very well um it's very malleable uh but it's moist it's very moist like i said it's not really hash in your traditional sense but it's a cool product nonetheless uh we'll smoke it off screen we'll tell you about the effects of this too but this hash, or what they're calling hash, it's CBD oil and keef. That's all it is, it's mixed. So it's not really hash. Uh, is it a cool product, though? Yeah, it, it mimics uh, hash and the taste and everything. It's got a very good taste. The smell, it's kind of uh, sweet, almost a little piney. I think they use the blueberry keef on this hash with the CBD oil. And it kind of has a CBD oil type of... Uh, natural terpene profile but as you see I mean I can just stick this right in it and I mean it just it's very uh very moist very malleable but it's some good stuff and it's got decent effects so we'll come back and tell you about the effects here in a minute but black tie CBD they're Afghani hash so all in all this was some good products from black tie CBD really digging that blueberry pie flower uh, that flower is pretty awesome. I love it for in the evenings when I'm relaxing. It's kind of got a sedative-ish effect. Like, it's not getting you high, but they do have an effect. Very calm and relaxing. I would say the blueberry pie is not so much good for pain, but it's very good for relaxing, hanging out, and having a good time. Uh, definitely great for that. The CBD hash. Okay, let's talk about that. It smokes okay. I'm not going to lie. I like it in bowls. Uh, it's nice to kind of, you know, throw a little bit of flour in a bowl, then do a layer of this hash, and then do a layer of a little more flour. Uh, it smokes pretty good. Do I think it's a great product? It's in the essence of it being labeled as a hash, I, I don't think it should be considered a hash. I do think it is a cool smokable product, but I don't think it's hash per se. With that being said, the effects are pretty awesome with it. Um, I'm not sure if the oil that they're using, I guess it can be smoked. Uh, I, you know, I don't really know, but, uh, the effects are amazing. Uh, it's very sedative, great for nighttime use, great for pain, actually, believe it or not. It was really good for pain uh, and definitely for the evening time. I, I, I say use this sparingly and wait a little bit because it takes about a minute or two before it kicks in. But when it kicks in, wow. Uh, it's, it's pretty legit, but, uh, I don't know if I'd call it hash. Um, like I said, it's, it's not really hash in your traditional sense, but it is a cool smokable CBD product. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, but I'd say if you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. I mean, it's good. It's got good effect. It does what it's supposed to do and what they say it does. Would I order it again? Maybe. I would maybe order again if I want something different, a different product or something to add to my flower. So definitely check them out, guys. I'm going to leave their link in the description below, blacktiecbd.com. Uh, they have some cool products. They have a few more flowers that I'm going to be purchasing soon to try out. I get a ton of requests for Black Tie CBD lately. Everybody wants to know what products they have that are good before they order. And I can't tell them without ordering it and reviewing it for myself. So we'll be doing another review for Black Tie CBD soon. Uh, they have some new flowers, I think, coming up soon that we're going to do some uh, reviews on. Uh, there's a couple that I haven't done yet. So we're, we're going to do that. So uh, stay tuned for that.
So if you like this video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends. We'll be coming at you with a lot more CBD and cannabis product reviews soon. We've got lots more hemp flour coming, guys. Our next review is going to be on Boston Hemp Hire. They got some new flour in, indoor grown, and this stuff is some fuego fire, guys. You don't want to miss this next one, so stay tuned for that. And I appreciate you guys. Remember, you got to stay positive. You got to stay medicated. And until next time, Hans out.